This is indeed a landmark moment for the world of combat sports and we were going to do a fun little WWE segment but as you can see my co-hosts are nowhere to be found so it might just have to be me speaking down the barrel of the... Oh my goodness! No way, it's the, it's the immortal Rob Whitaker! Uh, well, Mr. Australia, thanks for doing this. My goodness, uh, we're normally a trio here, but it looks like Alexander Volkanovsky has not been able to find a costume, so it's just you and me here on the panel here today, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to. Oh my goodness, no way! I can't believe it, it's so cold, Alex Volkanovsky! What? 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 <laughs> Well, um, <clears throat> gentlemen, of all the ways I thought I'd be spending my Wednesday night, this wasn't really on the list, but uh, welcome, thanks for doing this. Uh, I've got to ask, how do you think you guys would go with the, uh, <laughs> in the WWE? Brother, I want you to listen to me and listen to me good. Brother, when I'm speaking to you, look me in my eyes. I'm already in the WWE. <laughs> That's the bottom line. <laughs> Crystal Cold and the Hulk said so. Of all fighters, UFC, uh, past and present, who do you think would, uh, besides the ones that already have made the crossover, do well in world wrestling entertainment? I mean, how about the disrespect? We're standing right here in your presence, outfits and all, and you're gonna ask me who's gonna be the best WWE? I'm gonna tell you, we gonna be the best. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. <laughs> Listen to me good, bro. I've been asking all the Hulkamaniacs out there, who would be the best? Robert Whittaker. That's what they said, brother. They looked me in my eye and they said, brother, Robert Whittaker. And that's not all, cause the Hulk has got something else for y'all. Oh my goodness! 